<laughs> It's infoground, baby. <laughs> Hello and welcome to infoground. You go to search for the latest scoop or entertainment news meets insight. Let's check this out. Sexy red check by a child for crossing on camera. Mommy, don't say that. Sexy red, the queen of unapologetic anthems, just got schooled by a tiny king. In a laugh all lad Instagram story, which she posted on Wednesday, June 12th, the rapper went off on fans who constantly beg for glimpses of her kids and complaining that she never pulls them. Go have some kids and worry about them dirty ass niggas, she said during a mini rant, only to be hilariously shot down by a mini mate with a stern, Mommy, don't say that. Talk about a reality check, guys. Looks like this mom's got her hands full and her priorities straight. Okay, I'm sorry, but they be pissing me off, she replied. Like, yeah, my kids is right here, they good. Hmm, while I must admit the sexy isn't exactly a good role model, she does seem to be taking the mom duties seriously though, and that really is the most important thing. Like, if Sexy Red says she wants to keep her children off social media, who are we to stop her? Anyways, watch the actions below. Be like, why she don't post her kids? Why do you, why is y'all worried about my kids? Like they right here cool, they fed, they clean, they good. What's going on? Why is y'all worried about my kids? Go have some kids and worry about them dirty bitches. The f for real. Okay, I'm sorry, but they be pissing me off. Like, yeah, my kids is right here, they good. They always with me. Thank you. Good and fed. Very, very well fed. A lot of toys over here. That's how we live. Rich baby mama. Talk about where the kids at? My kids ain't got Instagram. Is you cool? My kids ain't on Instagram. They're not gonna be on Instagram. They don't have Instagram. You said when I talk on the phone, I say bad words. I'm sorry. You want me to stop saying bad words? Yeah. But bad words is fun to f say. You know what I'm saying? You hear me, cuz? You know what I'm saying? It's fun to curse. Curse. You can curse. Who? You. Nope. Say a curse word. Say it. No. <laughs> you better not. More news about Sexy Red. Sexy Red is back and bustier than ever. The St. Louis rapper who welcomed the second child earlier this year has been keeping her real and now she's keeping the extra volutions. Thanks to Risa and Boob Job. But that's not the only drama Sexy Red has been serving up lately. Security footage leaked earlier this week shows Red and members of the Interact fighting another girl inside the New Jersey airport. Sexy rocking a red bonnet could be seen swinging a metal pole during the melee, but isn't actually hitting anyone with it. Instead, she was pushed to the ground. Despite the chaos, Sexy Red walked away from the scuffle with her head held high and her new verse too. <laughs> the rappers got the power with the traits, family, music, and now a little extra oomph for a stage presence. We're here for it though. Coming up next. Cold of Black responds to ugly insults. They can kiss my ass. Cold of Black is eat back a critics of his appearance and people calling him ugly during his guest spot on Don Tolliver's Brother Stone. Featuring on Tolliver's new album At Stone Psycho, which was released on Friday, Kodak delivers a skating verse that's equal past savage and sassy. One of the lines finds him responding to those making fun of how he looks. It says, in his rap, bitches say I'm ugly, they can kiss my ass. Niggas hating on me, but they copy my swag. Fuck respect and love, long as this nigga don't do shit to me. Throw shots all you want, long as shit's not literally. It raps, tell them, Kodak, tell them. This isn't the first time Kodak Black has had words for people who have criticized his appearance. In an Instagram video posted in 2022, it said, You all stop playing with me, man. Sometimes people in the shade room comments try to play me like I'm ugly or something. I've never been ugly and I'm rich as fuck. And I fat good, you heard me. Next up, Boosie Badass attack Young's blue son over his autism. Boosie Badass is sunk to a new low and we main rock bottom. The rappers launched a vicious attack 
Not on his former protege, Young Blue, but on his innocent son, who has autism. Talk about eating below the belt. Well, man, how low do you really have to be to attack a person with autism? A symbiosis beef with Young Blue over a contractual dispute is reached a boiling point. But taking it out on a child? That's just cruel. We're talking about a kid who's already facing enough challenges in life and Boosie decides to add his own brand of aid to the mix. Let us be clear, autism is not a weakness and neither is being different. Boosie needs to take a long ad look in the mirror and ask himself what kind of person uses a child's vulnerability as a weapon. It's time to take a seat Boosie and leave the kids out of it. Young Blue opened up about his son having autism on Live Forever, a collaboration with Friday that appeared on his Jeremy album in April. My eyes get worried, my younger son got autism so I'm learning to listen more than I ever did. I want you to know that you haven't sent, you might be better than me, you see my soul clear if you look deep, you rap on the sun. Young Blue signed to Badass Music Syndicate in 2016 and released a string of projects on the label, but departed in 2019 after Boosie allowed him to sign elsewhere. Blue signed a distribution deal with Empire for his Vandross Music Group in 2020. Coming up next and lastly, Nicki Minaj seemingly shuts down divorce chatter with new footage of family moments. Nikki had fans thinking she was alluding to a split with her husband, Kenneth Petty, recently, but a new post from the rapper seems to put the rumors to rest. Taken to Instagram on Wednesday, June 12th, Minat shared a cute family moment showing her husband and son budding a private jet as she continues the overseas leg of a Pink Friday to water. Nicki Minaj has been involved in a somewhat controversial relationship with Kenna Petty since 2018, with the couple marrying a year later and welcoming a child together in 2020. Petty is a convicted sex offender, having been found guilty of the attempted rape of a 16-year-old girl in 1995. Oh, Petty. That's just... After failing to register as a sex offender in California, where he and Nikki relocated in 2020, he surrendered to U.S. Marshals. Petty and Minaj were later accused of harassment by his rape victim, as well as trying to bribe the woman to change her story. The Starship's rapper denied the accusations in a court filing, saying, During the call, I never asked that to change a story, and I did not threaten her with any type of arm if she chose not to provide a statement. In fact, I emphatically told her that I did not want her to lie about anything, to tell the truth about what she had just revealed to me, only if she was comfortable doing so. What do you think? Is Nikki's statement a genuine expression of innocence or a clever spin tactic? Let me know in the comment section, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to receive the GCS Celebrity Gist. Until next time.